This is a quick little video, and what we've got set up here are the two AR-1000 pointing in opposite directions, and you can say we've got them on a white target, and they're probably within 19, 20 inches of each other, and it's just to uh, show that due to space requirements. And so what we have, we have these lasers set up, and what we've got, we have it in the thickness mode, and the only thing I basically had to change was the plus or minus sign. So let's go ahead and zero these two lasers. So now we've, we're going to go into auto zero, which now zeroes the lasers on these two fittings. And if I move the target on the left, I'm moving the target on the left, it's showing it's moved, you know, 0.1 meters. And now as I move it back approximately to where it was at zero, and now as I move the one on the on the left here, also positive. And now if I move both of them, showing a positive increase between the two lasers. Very easy to do in that thickness mode. Now as I move them both back together, you can see I can get it pretty close right back to where, probably within, well, within a, a millimeter or so. So this is just a real quick way, and let me just run you through it real quick. I selected the models, AR-1000s, went into settings, zero on, have it in meters, uh, both lasers should be at factor default. We put it in a rate and cal, standard units, we saved it, and in, in the select mode we put in thickness. Simple as that, run. laser on and it takes the laser just a second to go ahead and sync up so now they're actually measuring if we turned auto zero off and we turn it back on it zeroed those two points so a lot of times you'll add in an offset knowing that distance and so once again as I move the laser on the left out and now the one on the right out measuring a positive increase in the width between the two targets.